An innocent man leaving the gas station was asked for a dollar. He gave the man a dollar before going to his vehicle. Multiple demons exit the store and open fire on the innocent man. The victim collapsed near the driver's side door. One demon tried to search the victim before quickly returning to the victim's back seat. The shooter started searching the victim's pockets like Bishop on Juice. The demons robbed the innocent man before fleeing the scene in his vehicle. The victim was discovered critically injured after being shot and robbed. The incident happened at the BP in the 4500 block of Cleveland Avenue just before 11.30 p.m. on February the 23rd, 2024. If you know, seen, or heard who robbed this innocent man, please send me a message. Thanks. You can't be in the hood at almost 11 p.m., almost midnight, giving out dollars to random people. It's just not smart anymore, okay? Now this guy, this old man, this old head was down there at the gas station and uh, he was giving out dollars, all right? And uh, it doesn't make any sense. And I'm wondering, what was you doing down there that late, okay? So, you just can't be giving people dollars at nighttime, all right? And just, just be aware, if any time, you know, somebody asks for some, some type of money or panhandling, you got to be aware nowadays in Kansas City. Okay. They asked you for a dollar, all right? This is 2024, all right? A dollar doesn't buy anything anymore, all right? You could have looked at those gentlemen, all right? Because those are the same gentlemen that like to wear Jordans and designer and all that other stuff, all right? And you can clearly see these three gentlemen were not strung out on drugs or anything like that. So why do you think they want a dollar, okay? They want more than a dollar. Can't do nothing with a dollar, all right? And it's three of them. What are they going to do with a dollar? in this hall when it's close to midnight, okay? Oh, they're not the water boys, all right? They're not out there slanging waters. They're at the gas station at almost midnight and they ask you for a dollar and there's three of them and a dollar can't buy anything. And they're not, you know, like I say, they don't look like dope fiends or anything like that. So what are they gonna do with a dollar, all right? So that should have been a red flag for OG right there. You should have seen like, oh yeah, this ain't this ain't the move right here, okay? But uh, you're down there, and on top of that, you wasn't even getting no gas. So what are you doing down there, all right? It just, uh, that's what I'm saying. What was you doing down there? You wasn't getting no gas, all right? What was you getting from there? Your dinner? They got gas, chips, candy, Blood wraps, what was you getting? I believe that old man was down there more than likely getting some uh, some wraps for his za, all right? And uh, the demons picked up on it, all right? Because people that are, people don't normally be out at that time of the night, you know, running in and out of convenience stores that ain't on something, you know what I'm saying? So this dude was, uh, Something was up with this dude going in that store this late. Why would he make his runs earlier in the day? Okay, he wait till almost midnight to run to the store to get some cigars or some cigarettes or whatever he was getting. Now, the guy, the guy that got blicked, he looked a little overweight. All right, he looked overweight, out of shape, you know, and uh, he just didn't look like he was. Uh, just look, you know, more, look vulnerable. He's overweight, fat, uh, going, to, going into, uh, uh, going into convenience store is almost midnight. He, he comes out. I didn't see anything really in his hand. So it looks like he went in there and got some Zy wraps, y'all, and some cigarettes. Okay. But whatever he was getting, he should have got that earlier in the day. All right. Cause he wasn't getting any gas. It wasn't like he was stopping at the gas station on the way to work or nothing like that. This dude was, you know, 
This dude was lollygagging, grabbing raps, messing around, almost midnight, giving people dollars at the store, you know. He was doing all that type of stuff. Okay, so. Now, this guy, you, you could tell he was overweight because when he got blicked, he hit the ground real hard, okay? He was just... He dude ran up home and he was, I guess he was kind of resisting. And dude was like, man, forget this. I'm, I'm blicking this nigga. Boom, that nigga got blicked. He hit the ground and his leg kind of flopped up. And I'm like, damn. And then so he licked the ground. He hit the ground. And uh, it was over from there, all right? And the guy that blicked him. Looked like he had like a ARP or something, like a like a Drake or an ARP or something like that. It didn't look like a pistol, okay? So this dude got shot up close with a uh with Drake or something like that, alright? So this old dude is hurting, alright? All because he wanted to be out on the late night getting some shells. Okay. Now, um, now this guy that went in the back seat, it seems like he was trying to go home, all right? Wherever they was trying to get to, they was trying to go home, all right? And they used your car to get there, okay? So dude in the back seat, he was ready to go. The dude that asked for the dollar, he was ready to go. The driver, <clears throat> he was trying to get rich. He searched everything. I'm surprised he didn't search your socks, okay? Like old dog on Menace to Society, because he probably had a little something in his socks too, or his shoes. So, but he found something because he was he had he had the old dude rolling around on the ground, going through every all four pockets like little baby. He was going through all four pockets, probably even five pockets with that little pocket that you have up here. So he went through all five pockets of this old man. You know, put the blick down and everything, and really got down in his pockets. And uh, it was witnesses watching the thing. They didn't intervene. It was a blue truck over there. And then a white small car that pulled up when it was going on. They didn't stop it. They didn't They didn't try to help or anything. They just, they went home. All right. And I'm willing to bet those people that witnessed this, they're not going to stop going to that gas station at that time either. They'll be, they'll potentially be the next victim because they go to the gas station close to midnight too. All right. And, um. Well, you're in the hood, really. You shouldn't be going to the gas station at nighttime, not unless you about that. Not unless you about that action, okay? And that old dude, he wasn't ready. He was lacking, and they seen he was lacking without a care in the world. That's why old people they get shocked by the streets because they. Oh, I'm not in the street. I don't got no ops. I don't got nothing to worry about. I'm lacking all the. They lacking everywhere they go. They lacking. They get drunk and they and they smoke and all that and they lack everywhere they go. And these old people, they think that nothing is going to happen to them, you know, because they're old and they don't have any ops. But that's not the case because people are just seeing y'all as, oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat them. All right. And uh, like I said, this dude was rolling around on the ground lacking. He was a grown man with uh, rights like anybody else. He could have went and had a firearm or had somebody with him that could help him protect himself. No, this man... It's rolling around on the ground, a grown man. It's rolling around on the ground for some, it looks like somebody that's in his teens or early 20s, manhandling you while you rolling on the ground. Like, like, like a, like a, uh, like a, you know, just like a, just rolling around on the ground like a roly poly or something, just back and forth, back and forth. Just while he you search your pockets. And you didn't even try to swing on him. You didn't try to bite him. You just laid there submissively while you got robbed and you almost 50 or 40, 50 or something. Bro, and you in Killer City, bro. And you down there getting Zyraps at midnight in the mid in the in, the, in the, one of the worst neighborhoods in Kansas City. These old people are gonna have to get smarter, alright? Because that guy, that decision, it wasn't a smart decision. Like I said, going to a gas station like that close to midnight, lacking, not ready, giving out dollars to whoever asked for dollars, giving out dollars to gangs. <sighs> 
and oblivious to the fact that that's a gang. He just think it's some guys hanging outside of a store. All right. Now, now that guy in the back seat. What kind of search was that? He just ran over, just just kind of jiggled his pockets and ran back to the back seat. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really want to be bothered with the old dude, all right? So I'm figuring these dudes were from out of town or they were somewhere far away from where they lived at. They didn't live in that neighborhood, all right? So those three guys, I believe they were from either from out of town or they don't live in that area, okay? So even if you was to show their face, if they're from out of town, nobody here is gonna know them. You know, you would have to show, you would have to show pictures of their face to work a place where they live and those guys as reckless as they was on camera they more they might be from out of town okay so they might have took your car and went back to their state and you know their area whether it's st louis or chicago or some place like that so i believe they was they weren't from this area you know so you can show that picture all you want in front of news stations in this area because if he don't live in this area, nobody's gonna know who it was. You have to show it worldwide, you know? So, um, and nobody's gonna do that for that old dude down there that, that got blipped, all right? So these dudes, it's a possibility, possibility they was from out of town or from, not from the area of 45th and Cleveland, all right? Now the shooter, he remind me of Juice on, um, the shooter remind me of Bishop on Juice, okay? When he was robbing Raheem, and he had Raheem on the ground, and he was just going through his pockets, and he was just kind of shaking while he was going through his pockets, just kind of hype, just going through his pockets, you know, just, 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 just hype off that, just that thrill you receive from doing crime, you know, just, just feeling that energy, just going through him, shaking, just, just ripping dudes' pockets out, off, rolling him around, ripping his back pocket off. Old dude just sitting there, you know, and it looked like he kind of tried to, he, I think the old dude had a little knot on him somewhere because sometime during the struggle, he tried to put up a little fight because you could see the old dude shaking like, uh, then the dude just got it out of him like, you know what I'm saying? So I believe gang went and had a good meal. They probably went and got some pizzas or something. You know, they could have went to Walmart or somebody late night. They got pizzas or something. So they probably went and got some pizzas and some chicken and stuff. And, um... Uh, play some video games and stuff on your time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's just, the, you know, that's how it is out here. That's why you, you can't be at the gas station uh, close to midnight lacking, all right? Now. Okay, now this old head dude that got blicked, he got to move carefully. And to be honest, he needs to, like, really, he needs to be in the suburbs, bro. Because if he keeps move it around the ghetto it's gonna happen again because this is kansas city's not getting any better and if, you know he likes to go to the store at midnight and get his wraps and blunts and stuff he needs to be off in the suburban area all right well make your runs in the, earlier in the day all right but like i say he really needs to be in, a, in another area you know the hood is good to transition transition out the hood don't just stay in the hood where you 60 and you in the hood and it's hungry it's hungry people in the hood they looking at you like you fool so it's best it's best for him to get in his little area where he don't have to worry about gang and the young people running up on him blicking him you know okay so they lashed his car. So like I said, they needed to ride home. They got dude's car. I don't know if what he had in his car. I know they searched that and um, they searched him and uh, they got everything they could get from him. And um, like I said, dude was lacking, just careless. And you want a dollar? Here's a dollar. Here's a dollar. Dollar for you, dollar for you, dollar for you, dollar for you. Even though kids don't even want dollars no more because they can't, you can't even get like a little sucker, no Jolly Rancher with a dollar no more. So that should have been a red flag to you. Three, three grownups or three teenagers or three, you know, people asking for one dollar. I'm out of here.